Today I'd like to take a casual peek into the DC Universe Classics Kid Flash action figure. This is figure number 2 from Wave 7, which is the Atom Smasher Collect and Connect figure for the Wave. I've been putting off uh, purchasing the Kid Flash for a while now. Uh, the main reason is because of the QC issues I've uh, heard and read about. Uh, he's either got... E two left or two right forearms and he has some sort of issue with his legs. Uh, I'm not sure what the issue is with the legs is. It's, uh, it's called a split leg. I'm not sure what that means but uh, I've been putting him off for a while now because I really don't want to pay the higher price, the secondary uh, market price uh, for this figure set and I didn't find this Kid Flash in the mass retail store so I ended up uh, buying uh, this set uh, on Free Comic Book Day uh, earlier this month and uh, the comic shop I purchased this from had a 20% discount on action figures so I ended up only paying about $12 for this figure. Taking a look at the Kid Flash in the package here, I can't really tell whether he has two left or two right forearms. Um, we're going to have to find out when we open the package. And I can't really see any issues with the legs, so uh, hopefully mine doesn't have any issues. So Down below you can see Adam Smasher's right arm there. And taking a look at the back of the package, you can see the other figures from the wave. We have Ocean Warrior Aquaman, Kid Flash, Blue Beetle, Booster Gold, Big Barda, Captain Cold, and the Barry Allen Flash. Uh, the two variants uh, on, from this wave are the uh, Booster Gold, which comes in a classic and co uh, modern costume, and Big Barda, as uh, she comes in a helmeted and a non-helmeted version. Down below you can read uh, Kid Flash's uh, biography and statistics, and uh, I have only known Wally West as the third Flash uh, for the last 20 some odd years, so I don't know much about his history as Kid Flash or as the sidekick uh, to Barry Allen so this is a pretty interesting uh, biography on here now but let's go ahead and uh, open up the figure out of the package and we'll be right back okay we're back and Kid Flash is out of the package and the first thing we'll take a look at is the uh, collect and connect piece which is the uh, right arm of Atom Smasher I forgot to mention that since I've been putting off purchasing Kid Flash for a while now, uh, this uh, figure set is the final set I need to complete the Atom Smasher figure. All I really need to do now is open up the rest of the Wave 7 uh, figures I have and I can put Atom Smasher together. So, um, but taking a look at this Collect and Connect piece, uh, it's, he's got a lot of muscle definition on this uh, arm here. And I really like Adam Smasher's bracers here. It's got the straps on there. I think that's actually kind of neat. And some uh, studs here on his bracers as well. I think that's uh, rather cool. Uh, but this is the uh, Collect and Connect piece that comes with the Kid Flash, the right arm of Adam Smasher. Taking a look at uh, Kid Flash in more detail, um, as soon as I open them up uh, out of the package, I was I uh, looked instantly at the arms to see if I had any duplicate arms and uh I actually don't uh these uh two forearms uh, are actually uh a, a left and a right so I had no problems with the arms on this figure uh, I even looked at the uh, biceps and the shoulders just to make sure and uh these uh the arms are okay on these figures so although this one doesn't seem to be pushed in uh, into the peg as much as this arm here, but but the the arms are unique. They're not uh, duplicated. I, and then I looked at the legs for the split issue, uh, split leg issue, and I think it's right here. Uh, there's I don't know if you can take a look at it. There's a little bit of a gap in there on the leg on either side. Um, I don't know if that's what they're referring to as the split leg issue. So I'm, I'm just going to be extra careful with the legs here uh, when. I guess when I split the legs, so uh, just to make sure it doesn't crack open any further. So, 
But um, and you can see some of the paint uh, underneath over here, beneath the joint. Uh, I don't know if it's showing up on the video, but it looks like it's peeling a little bit on there. But but looking at uh, Wally West here, um, uh, it looks uh, pr pretty interesting. Um, He's in the red and yellow. It actually reminds me of Professor Zoom's colors, uh, where Professor Zoom's majority of colors were yellow. Um, pretty much the reverse of Flash. But uh, One thing I noticed, I don't know if a lot of uh, casual fans will pick it up, but uh, this figure's eyes are blue, and uh, Wally West's eyes are green. So I don't know if that shows up here. But uh, it looks like they kind of messed up on the eye color there. I really like the hair. Uh, I think that's kind of neat. Nice sculpt of the hair on there, and I also like these uh, these wing tips on his and his ears, and also over his calves uh, on there. So I guess this is uh, what he wore as Kid Flash. I really didn't follow him uh, in his younger days. So let's a uh, basic. Uh, uh, I guess the teen uh, male figure. Um, let me go ahead and uh, put them over here and line them up with... Uh, I don't have a Flash figure yet, uh, but I do have a Superman figure, so I guess he'll, for size comparisons, he'll, uh, he'll do. And he's uh, a little smaller. Uh, smaller than I expected uh, him to be. Uh, I haven't seen the Donna Troy figure, so... But from the pictures I've seen of Donna Troy, uh, I think the female teen figure is going to be taller than the male teen figure, so... Uh, but um, let's go ahead and go ahead over the articulation of this uh, figure here. Uh, the head goes all the way around and doesn't go up or down uh, a little bit, even though there seems to be enough room in the back of the head for his head to go up, but it doesn't really go up that much. Uh, the arms go all the way around. They do go out and in. The biceps swivel all the way around. The elbows bend and the hands rotate at the wrist. The torso bends back and down. The waist goes all the way around and the legs go up, down, not very far to the back and out to the side. I'm hesitant to pull his leg out to the side even more without risk uh, cracking or breaking this leg here. Uh, the uh, thigh rotates all the way around. The knees do bend, and the feet uh, bend. Oh, one thing I wanted to point out on the feet, I really like the treads on the bottom of his feet to simulate uh, the need for the treads uh, when he runs at super high speeds. So I think that's a neat touch on there. So, But uh, overall, um, I think I was more afraid uh, than I should have been uh, in getting this figure because really no issues with the arms on here from what I had read that there were and uh, I guess I just have to be careful with the uh, legs there well I'd uh, recommend uh, picking them up if you want to uh, pick up uh, one of the Flash family figures or, or a Teen Titan figure uh, but this is my casual peek into the DC Universe Classics Kid Flash action figure thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.